For me, Memorial Day is the spot. 30 days is the spot where you can start looking at some stats a little bit. Memorial Day is the spot where you can you can kind of get a handle on 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 where the season is. We're we're about 50 games in for every team. Uh and that's that's enough time. That's enough time to get a good read on where you are. Typically teams over 50 games, you can you can get a hot 50 game stretch. But one thing that we've noticed throughout Major League Baseball this year, uh and if you look at the standings, you'll see this really jump out at you. It is uh there's basically there's 12 spots. We know that. There's 12 spots for for the postseason, right? Six in each league. Man, we kind of know the six in each league. The playoffs are set. I mean, they're not quite set, but we kind of know. The the top six teams in the American League, Yankees, two games behind them are the Astros, three games behind them are the Blue Jays, a half game back are the Rays and Twins, and then two more back is the Angels. The Angels are seven and a half out. They're the sixth place team. Next up, the seventh place team is the Rangers, who are two and a half back of the Angels. And then it's the White Sox and the Guardians who are three back. And then the Red Sox who are three and a half back. Now, that's not that's not a big gaping hole, but there's a little bit of a, of a separation here. We've got a four and a half game difference between number seven and number five. Like, and that's not going to go away. Like the, the the Rangers, as good as they've played, they're, they're, they may not keep the chance they keep this up all year are probably pretty slim. Although, although they have grossly exceeded expectations. So far in the National League, it's a little bit worse. Uh, the top six teams, Mets, Dodgers, Brewers, Padres, Cardinals, Giants are all separated by six and a half games. The next best team is 10 back, which is the Diamondbacks. Nobody thinks the Diamondbacks have any shot. Yeah. They should. They are one of the worst rosters in the sport. And then you got the Braves and the Rockies. Nobody thinks they're any good. So the NL, your six teams in the NL, you know who they are. None of those other teams, the Diamondbacks, Braves, Car uh, Rockies, Pirates, Phillies, none of those teams are making the postseason. You already know the six in the NL. Wow. In the AL, the only ones I th that most people will say they could see happening are the White Sox, who have been outscored by 50 runs so far, Sean. <laughs> the White Sox have the second worst run differential in the American League, second only to Kansas City. They're a talented team. People could see them making a run. Maybe Boston, maybe because they've been a little bit hotter of late. Um, they're eleven back. They're eleven back. They're 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 three and a half back uh, of of that final wild card spot. But they're a better team than than their record shows at the moment. Um, those are that's about it. So here we are. We're fifty games in, and we kind of know the twelve teams. <laughs> we know at least eleven of the twelve. That's not good if that holds true. It's not good. Not good. No, it's not good. Uh, now, is is Minnesota going to keep it up? But I'll tell you what. You know, you know the Blue Jays are, and you know the Rays are, and you know the Astros are, and you know the Yankees are. And in the National League, who's knocking them off? Who's getting rid of the Mets, Dodgers, Brewers, Padres, Cards, or Giants? Those were the best teams in the sport last year in the National League, uh, with the exception of uh, you know flip flop, you know Atlanta in for one of those two teams. Uh, but other than that, that's what you had.